And it's Beatrice And guys If you clearly aren't seeing a little sign Something that I'm holding in my hand <laughs> And I'm sure you guys would have seen already By looking at the title and thinking Who the heck Who the heck are what you? The heck? What the heck? I don't know y'all Yeah, what are we done with BTS? Like, what, where? BTS is dead and gone It's Jared. dead and gone R.I.P R.I.P <laughs> But yeah, yeah man Cheers. I was actually thinking now We should have pulled a no, I, I glass of champagne and I was just like, you know what? That's why I've got a shot here, man Cheers, oh, man Come no, on, do you know what cheers Do you know what it is? Yeah it's We can't a... drink anything Because there's no money <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying I'm drinking water <laughs> You're sick But guys, in case you don't know In case you've missed it on socials I don't know where the heck you've been But we have had to say R.I.P. to our baby BTS podcast. Ooh, baby. It has oh, been a journey. It's years. been four good years. But four honestly, years. we have loved giving you guys content. And trust me, this is not me saying farewell. I'm now saying hello, hi. No, yes, this is hello. My voice is louder. <laughs> My bass is deeper. Do you hey. get what I'm trying to say? Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> we have now rebranded. We are now giving you guys... Ah, oh, guys. I can't I can't even uh, explain it All those things You people have been Saying in the comments yes. When will you give us Another episode When will you give up Now is the now time Now is the time Because <laughs> We are now Called The Uncut Podcast Round of applause Round of applause, round of applause. Woo! <laughs> Guys, it's been a journey. Ah, oh, give it up for Jesus. No, it's been a it's journey. Been a journey. Shout out to our management for holding yes, it down. Yes, shout out to our boys, management. It has been a... It's Kai, been a I'm so surprised they haven't killed us yet. Yeah, no, yeah. legit. Wiping legit. our tears yeah, and man. solving yeah, man. all the problems. Honestly, the square one. Dotting the square eyes, one. For crossing real. the T's. No, nah, honestly, it has but yeah, been a journey. For real, but honestly, now... When you hear the Uncut podcast, obviously you can tell this is going to be uncut. This is going to be mm, raw. raw. This is going to be unfiltered. Not too raw. unfiltered. You're not too raw. Not you know too raw. I mean? We're saving that. We're, we're saving that. that. Hey, we're saving that. <laughs> <laughs> because, guys, let me tell you now, yeah, this isn't just Monday upload. <laughs> this isn't just a, <laughs> this isn't just a, another podcast that you see. Period. Yeah? Do you this know what you're eight. reminding me of right what? now? The nineties videos, like the Destiny's oh, Child. Yeah, I was hey, just saying that. You always tell me that you need me. Oh god, <laughs> Ashanti. No, <laughs> but no, guys. Honestly, this is not another podcast like we normally do, where it's just a, a weekly upload. Like we have basically come with full force because we basically ask all the things that you guys have wanted. Yes. So, who wants to tell these people? What they're getting with the uncut podcast. Go ahead, Tammy, take it away. You're getting um ah ah. <laughs> this girl has failed. I'm You're getting, getting a, um ah. I'm, I'm giving it a D plus, <laughs> D minus, D girl. plus. So I'm giving it a plus for the extra effort. I'm nervous, guys. Let's be real. I've yeah. been nervous. Well, you had your hand up for five minutes. Yeah, man. yeah but you know. Um, when you put your hand up in class, the picture does the teacher actually doesn't pick you, they yeah, pick the people. Yeah, yeah. With You're the, the only one with your hand up here. <laughs> yeah, legit. yeah, but maybe she's gonna pick you. That's what I'm saying. My hand isn't up. Guys, yeah. the teachers, they don't pick the ones with their it's hands true, up, they pick true. the one with their hands down. So yeah, I think yeah, yeah. it's schoolboy error. It's true. Uh, it's it's nerve-wracking. You know, we need to be real. Okay. Yeah. Changing the name is not it's a not small easy. thing. Yeah, yeah don't not. leave them. Yeah, don't leave them. <laughs> Please. And obviously, we have a good support, support from our Listeners and things yeah, like that, but yeah, at the same time, you. it feels brand new. Yeah, it feels brand new. I'm a bit anxious. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm happy though. Like I feel like this is gonna be the start of like a new chapter. Like yeah, I'm ex- the start of something new. It feels so right to be here with you. Oh. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> even the singing is better. <laughs> We got a surprise guys, guys, and on the base. I'm surprised that I even yeah, went there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I was like, hearing I said, not the alto, chat. <laughs> not the alto. 
Do she, that. Needs that. she needs to leave that one in the car. Anyway, oh. I'm just kidding. I'm just I, kidding. I gave it flavor. No, no, no you, you did. No, you, 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 you did. You did. You did. You did. You did. did well. Those drum lessons really. Nah, you guys <laughs> need to. You guys actually need to be in the car with us when we're. Oh singing. yeah, sorry. Yeah, fair crazy enough, fair enough. scenes. Um, but yeah, anyway, Tammy, you're meant to be telling these people what they're meant to be getting with the uncut podcast, or should I pass the mic to? Please pass the mic. That's what I thought. So Sharon, you go ahead and tell these people Guys, what the heck they're getting. With the uncut podcast, yeah. you will not just be getting the regular stuff that you were getting with BTS. Mm. As Beatrice was saying, was weekly uploads on a Monday, sporadic lives yeah. here and there. Here and there. With uncut, yeah, huh. this is gonna be structured. Hey! You're gonna get an upload on Monday. That's right. And then for the people who are paying extra $3.99, Woo! hey, Woo! say hello to Patreon! Patreon! Woo! You know, me no, and my, my drama, Come man. on, man. We come no, on, come on. Private school. Private school on, education. Ace only, period. 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 Um, but yes, you will be getting an extra upload every single Week. Wednesday hey. on Patreon. Yes. And for the people who are subscribing now. In fact, I know I know our listeners, yeah? yeah? Some people, they haven't even waited for this episode to drop. They've already gone to go and find Patreon. And they're yeah, paying do you understand? They've already Those read people, the description box. Yeah. They have already read said... the description box. Yeah. And they will have seen that they're already... Four Ooh. exclusive episodes Ooh. that we pre-recorded yep. already there for you. Yes. So you don't even have to wait till Wednesday. Yeah. There's four for you to catch up on. Go there quickly. Go quickly. Oh. Go quickly. Before we change our mind. No, change. No, <laughs> <fact. laughs> before we pull the plug. Yeah, fact. Because on Wednesday, there'll be a new one as well. So yes. you want to make sure you're up to date before that yes. Wednesday yes. upload. So go ahead. Head over to Patreon and find us. That is Uncut Podcast on Patreon. And guys, £18 for £3.99. Mm. How hey, much mom. is that? That is so How cheap. How much is money? <laughs> How much is money? How much is money? It's nothing. Balling, balling. Hey, <laughs> premium or nothing. Oh my gosh, I'm crying. All but those no. people that have been shouting, I'm, I'm earning 100k. Drop it! Yeah, no, honestly. Drop it! <laughs> what was I going to say? No, but guys, in this cost of living, what can you even buy for free? That's what I'm saying. Like, you get my coffee is is more than our Patreon. No, no, no. Yeah, other than our Patreon, there's nothing else. What else can you get? You can't get coffee. You can't get tea. Nothing. You can't even get green tea. Even hot water. (laughs) Wow, they're charging for that now. No, Ah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's not free. Ha, ha. Hi. It is. It it is is well, well Hmm. indeed. But yeah, guys, honestly, make sure you guys head over to Patreon. Find us there. Give us your £3.99 a month because, guys, this lighting that you see is not free. This content that you see is not free. We need your support. We need your love. But also, we're giving you guys stuff that is worth it because it's not only just the weekly episode on Wednesday that we will give you guys. Trust me when I say, next week, we're going to be announcing something juicy Something sensational. And it's only the Patreon people that are going to have early access. Mm. Let's talk about that next page access access now, baby. Because what? Listen, that's the reason why our Patreon, you'll see it's called Backstage. Because listen, you're going to be behind us. You're going to be backstage of the Uncut podcast, getting all that exclusive, getting all that early access. Mm -hmm. And also... You people see, sometimes we our DMs are crazy because mm. people be sending us dilemmas left, right, and center. But those people on Patreon get exclusive access to be sending dilemmas for the main episode. Y'all know <laughs> some of you guys character. have been sending the same <laughs> dilemma five times, saying urgent. Yeah? <laughs> I'm only going to be reading out the ones that say they're from Patreon. <laughs> and I will check the damn email address. Oh, you hear me? Yeah? <laughs> cool. So. <laughs> please, please. No, it's fine. We it's still fact. love everybody we now. Love so, we know. love them, but we love our Patreon people more, and that's fact. Sorry. Oh. But that's absolute fact because those people are the people that are riding and dying for us. <laughs> Emma, that's what you call ride or die chick. Ride or die chick. But yeah, no. Nah. Anyway, Sha, we love all of you. No, we love all of what you, but we love say? the Patreon people more. Oh, and also meet us in the lounge because on Patreon, yes, exactly. you guys will be able to interact with one another Direct. and also us so that we can have uh, discussions about the things that only you guys have seen. Facts, oh. facts. It's and before be we get into the episode and go further on, please make sure you're following us yes. Yes. on our new yes. socials, which are all going to be down below in the description box. So, you know, get to clicking, Nana. 
Follow us. Yeah, yes. literally, man. Follow yes, us yes, on our yes. socials. Follow us everywhere, guys. And please help us get the word out that we've changed our name. Yeah, we've been branded man. by resharing on stories and stuff. Yes. We don't want people to be alarmed. Like yeah. we just said in the beginning. Ah, I don't know these people. Yes, ah, you do. Us, guys, Lord. we're nearly at 70K. We're nearly sure. at 70k. Almost there. I want to see that. I want to see that plaque as soon as possible, man. 100%. It's been a long time, but yeah. So we are going straight into it on a new segment called Don't Get Me Started. Period. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, in this uh, segment, we yes. ask you people on uh, Instagram. If you're not following our Instagram, please click on our Instagram link in the description box. Yeah. Cool. We ask our Instagram followers, our supporters, a question. And the question this week was, what made you break up with your ex? Mm. And God damn, did you people answer this question mm. with him? As in, it was as if you were taking your GCSE exams for our American, your SATs, or what do they mm. call them? Yeah. Your finals. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Mate, if you hear the responses to this, so... I feel like I should be even sending my own. Oh. Ah, we'll get there, don't worry. Don't worry, I'll be available on Patreon only. Oh, <laughs> This girl, child. <laughs> Every sentence is going to be available. Because that's exclusive. That's about my life, child. Don't yeah, so it. the question, what made you break up with your ex? Mm. We'll start off easy, you know, yep. slow. His lack of ambition and drive for Ooh. himself and future started to give me the ick, child. Yeah, I hear it. No, I, I hear, hear that. It. I hear it. Because no one wants a man with no ambition. That's or a woman. That's so bummy. Mm. Yeah, no. Like, you're just... But you know, guys don't care about women's ambitions in that. You think? Yeah, Some no. guys really don't They care. really don't give five. Monkeys. They just care about their own. Yeah, they just care. Oh, yeah. as in like a guy won't even, like if the girl is not, not ambitious, ambitious she won't yeah. even be affected. So what are you doing? Yeah. Yeah, Richard. Yeah. Damn, damn. Discovered he'd been married oh. for 10 years. Ah! Yeah! 10 years? Eh? Mate. Wait. Ah? Yes. That's funny. <laughs> Happy Valentine's happy Day. Happy decade. <laughs> no, happy Jubilee. Happy I don't even Jubilee. Call her I don't know. Know. Like, happy Super uh, Jubilee. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Next one. Mm. I found a hidden camera mm. in my bedroom eh? facing my bed. Eh? Oh, and he wouldn't let me access the feed. What? what? Sorry, hold on. So that means that girl must not be living with him, and then she put he came At to her place fam, and put it there. There's so many. Re- there's, there's so, so many. many different- Isn't there one film? No, not film. I was going to say it's like Scandal. What you know, Scandal where the show. Jake had um oh the yeah. camera on Olivia. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jack! Have you watched Scandal? I have, but I don't think I watched that far. No, oh, okay. Nah, I need to rewatch it and watch you finish watching it because you know Scandals are starting to piss me off. I was just like, why are you always fat? Anyway, no, that's another scandal. story for another no, day. Scandal, scandal man. Cool. But damn. Yeah. Whoa. Do you I'm know sorry, but that could also be like a criminal, like, I, te- yeah, yeah. I, like go to the police, like, yeah. defo, defo. Yeah. I was going to say, you, <laughs> that reminds me of my birthday. Oh, Which where, birthday? Where, where we had the camera, the camera on. Oh! <laughs> sorry, I just, I just poked up at <laughs> Guys. That, that Airbnb, there were so many different guys, things. Let me, guys. Give a warning, let me give a warning. Let me just give a warning first before you start saying guys, yeah. Please, for the love of God, when you go to an Airbnb, scan, scan, scan the place, scan the property, scan the property. Look clearly, look clearly. Because in fact, if you can get um 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 infrared goggles, no, honestly, to look for any light. Because ah. when I tell you, we were just chilling in the, <laughs> we were just chilling in the living room, ah. and we were looking out to the garden. And we saw one. We ju- okay, okay. We were not just chilling. We were getting ready. ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, we were getting ready. As in changing, yeah, changing our clothes. Pants. Yeah, downstairs. And... Um, <laughs> just saying. Yeah, it's true. And I don't know who it was, but someone pointed out the fact that there was a red light coming from the garden. Yeah, mm. so basically what happened, there was like a shed. shed. I don't know what it is called in the US. Outer, yeah, um, like an outbuild or something. Like a, another Outer building. Yes, yeah. but you're like your storing broom and, uh, yeah. and bicycle. Uber and bicycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So basically, another building at the back of the garden. Mm. But you know, in the UK, we don't. Not all houses have like the big gardens yeah. like you guys in America have. The, as in, you could see the yeah. shed, yeah. and inside the shed, it was like oh, a tripod on a tripod. Yeah, what? a camera with Facing a red light, light. flashing. Yeah. We said, eh? "Yeah," man. and the Airbnb said, "No parties allowed." Yeah, man. and it was going to be yeah, a party. Party. <laughs> party. <laughs> But yeah, no, that was actually scary. Because even like the, uh, the they're like French, were they French doors? 
Yeah, like, yeah, garden yeah, doors. Yeah. They, they were no completely. They had, yeah, yeah, they had no curtains so that you couldn't no close it. So, so you could couldn't. See so, so, uh, yeah, yeah, basically. crazy man. Crazy. Ah, that was a story. Chat. Kai, yeah, that was Go just ahead. one thing wrong with that place. <laughs> yeah, man, this one. <laughs> Let me read this the the oh, the, no. the question again. Okay. What made you break up with your ex? Mm. Yeah. He peed himself How? while at the fair and tried to switch pants with me. How? What? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all nasty. Excuse Filthy. me. Sorry, no. first of all, why can you fit my trousers? No, that's actually the question. That is actually a question. <laughs> Please, who is wearing the p- pants here? Me That's or you? Crazy. This is crazy. Yeah. There was one girl that I was speaking to recently. Um, I met her like at an event, and she was saying that her ex used to wet the bed. Like regularly? Yeah. In his like mid 20s. He needs to go to a doctor. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Or like it's like um it must be medical condition. Because some because I, I think I've read or I've seen something where it's like. People that are wetting the bed, like maybe it's just started. They might be going through something, or something oh, is happening, like traumatic. Yeah, or like they're, they're going dream. through something. Going through something that she used to sleep on the floor. Oh. Yeah, that ain't it, y'all. That ain't it, y'all. That ain't you, it. I need you to hold me. <laughs> I'm crying. I need you to hold me. <laughs> You're sick. <laughs> okay, cool. Why did you break up with your ex? Oh, what made you break up with your mm. ex? Took our child to his mistress' house mm? to meet her kids before we were even separated. My daughter told me. Oh. Oh. What they kids? What they kids? They don't tell the truth. They don't, they don't tell, tell the, the truth. truth. Facts. That is giving um, Clay. Oh, love from Love is Blind. Yeah. Mm. I'm crying. That's funny. What made you break up with your ex? He told me. <laughs> hey! He told me he didn't believe in di- dinosaurs. And I thought, nah, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, someone that everything to them is just a conspiracy, conspiracy theory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, man, shut up, man. Talking to me about 5G towers. People are dying in COVID. What are you no, talking about? Oh, right, yeah, 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 yeah. I was talking, to, I was discussing that at work with like some of my colleagues, like mm. looking back, because when you actually think of it, COVID started four years ago this month. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Four years ago, we yeah. entered lockdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people were really talking about <clears throat> it's the yeah, 5G, 5G towers. Yeah. The army is coming. They're sending troops. Yeah. That COVID is a lie. Yeah. No. no mm. I didn't want to say the word I want to say, but no. Mm. Damn. Damn. Okay. What made you break up with your ex? I found out he had five kids two months into the relationship <sighs> and he lied and said there's only three of them. I still left. <laughs> five. Five. So, so, wait. so she knew that there were three But there were actually no, five No she found out he had five kids yeah. Two months into a relationship yeah. But he only told her that he only had Okay maybe he actually had five And she only knew he had three. Oh yeah that's what I'm thinking But she still left That's so funny Okay Five is not okay, Even three is a lot mm. What made you break up with your ex? She was secretly having sex with my cousin Who was sleeping in my living room on an air mattress <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I used to say this at the old show. What lives are you people living? Nah, no, that is what? That is crazy. <laughs> nah, I'm so bad. <laughs> and you don't think one thing about it, them airbags, they're going to drop. Mm. <laughs> them By the time air- you've well, you you're woken up, you're on the ground. You're on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're you on go the- to sleep. Pumpy, pumpy. <laughs> you wake, you wake up. up. Your head is on the, on the laminate no. floor. You know when you even made it, when you actually wake up like mid-sleep because you have to go and re-pump? Hey. Nah, that ain't it, y'all. That ain't it, y'all. I had a good, a pretty good one when I was at uni, though. Because like people, I used you, to live were on you campus. sleeping on it in uni? No, no. Or oh, when saying, people would come round? Yeah, like when I... I slept on it. No, I know. I'm not talking about... I'm not talking about you guys. When I was in final year, I lived on campus, uh, but, like, close to the library. Yeah. And, like, my friends would... Like, if they had an exam and they didn't want to go all the way back to town where they live, in. they'll stay at mine and I'd be like, oh, I can't lie to you. I don't want to share my bed, so... Not that I don't want to share my bed, but it's like, if there's two of you wanting mm. to stay over, like, mm. someone's uh-huh. going to have to... Yeah. Mother of many. Don't ah. kill me. <laughs> What's her name? Um, that Mother girl Teresa. from... Oh. No. <laughs> Game of Thrones. Um, um, oh, Dutch, um, um, d- 
Uh, Jokaris. <laughs> that's the thing that she said. Khaleesi. Khaleesi. Yes, that's it. That's it. Mother, that's it. Of yeah, Mother of it. dragons. Yeah. Mother of dragons. Okay, what made you break up your ex? He would he would disappear at random. No yeah. explanation. Found out he was a hacker for hire for criminals. Ah, he was a hacker, hacker for, for hire. hire for... <laughs> that job advert must be crazy. Come man. on, they must pay a lot, though. Ah, yeah, for well, sure. Ah, can you date someone? Can you, can you date someone that's like that? A no. hacker, like working for criminals. Ah, ah. Like, so you're, you're a criminal. So you're a criminal. Okay, you're a criminal, but you know where it's like you're not really involved in that. You're just doing the side, the side of the side of desk no, work. No, I couldn't do that. What you know, are you, you talking you know, about? You're the side of desk work. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is the thing, yeah. This guy. Maybe when I was in uni. This guy now, yeah. <laughs> he he will hack life. into hack into something that he shouldn't have hacked into, and now all of a sudden they've got him like um, in it. In you know, like in uh in scandal where they're doing like water bath and all that kind of oh. thing. That's oh, where yeah, yeah, that's yeah, where yeah. he'll find himself yeah, now because yeah, yeah. he's hacked into one in secret it? agency yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, man. Who? What made you break up with your ex? He didn't want to come to my mother's funeral because it would be too boring for him. Excuse me? <laughs> you people are wrong. wrong. Sorry? Ha. Oh, it's Heartless. One... You are. He wasn't my boyfriend. But the fact that he didn't have a passport gave me the ick. Ah. Well. God damn oh, it. Oh, and you know, to... The last one to top it all off. Mm. What made you break up with your ex? Oh no, his boobs were larger than mine. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no. I, I just said we fat shaming now. <laughs> this is a fat shaming podcast. Nah, this is crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, no, guys. For the love of God, I actually, for the love I, of God. No, but for the love of God, I actually even just hope the baby's like an A or B cup because I ain't even got time for anything more, man. That's just <laughs> that's just crazy. That is just crazy. <laughs> Bloody hell. Thank you for coming to Don't Get Me Started. <laughs> nah. I'm crying. Damn. No, nah, honestly, oh. like, I feel like when it comes to like those type of questions when you're asking people about their exes and why they're mm. broken up and stuff. Kai! The stories? The stories are always just like nah. mad. Oh, we feed you. Yeah, man. God damn. Let us do better, guys. <laughs> cool. We're moving on. Like we're moving on to a dilemma. Yes. I've got very I say it's a good dilemma. Mm. Okay. Cool. Hi girlies. My American heart is playing tricks with my Trinidadian mind. For the sake of this letter, my name is Raven. <laughs> There's a raven It's the, the future, future I can, can see <laughs> Cool Yeah My name is Raven 28 years old First gen Trini American I've been in a long distance relationship With my boyfriend Michael 29 years old African American We are separated by three hours And we've been dating For two and a half years For financial reasons We see each other once a month This man knows my heart My ambitions And my entire family he talks about starting a family with me, getting married, building a life with me. These are all incredible things, considering I come from a family where we rented but never owned a home. And my parents seem to always... Sorry, what the heck has that got to do with it? I think she's saying that he's always talking about, oh, he wants to, I want to buy a house, build with you. Oh, okay. And she's basically Sorry, saying that. that her family have always rented, so she's never actually seen like... You mm. know when people talk about, oh yeah, I'm the first in my family to graduate. I'm the first in my family mm, to yeah. have a home. Mm, I think... Mm. Okay, fair it's enough. Big for you. some people. Got you. Yeah. So, yeah, these are all incredible things considering I come from a family where we rented but never but never owned a home and my parents all, always seem to be on the brink of divorce. Oh. Hmm. Not always. Damn. He's my first true love and I want to marry him. Oh. He just gives me the ick uh-huh. when he asks my opinion. What? What? In my heart, I know he's asking for permission. He asks, how would you feel if I moved in with you? How would you feel if I got a job in the government? It's giving me that he's not sure of himself. Uh, uh, uh. He has, in fact, confessed to me that I am too good for him. Is my hardback Caribbean nature blowing my future? Or should he be the man that I want, like my daddy, Uh. that creates the plan and tells me later? It depends on the type of... (laughs) It depends on the I type cho- of... Wait, the reason I chose this dilemma because it's a little bit different. Yeah. Obviously, 
It's a good one. It's obviously she's happy with where she is, mm. but you know when someone gives you the ick, like you can't. I think ick is too strong for what she's describing. You think? Yeah, ick is like I actually can't stand to be around this person. Mm. I don't think ick is that though. No, because you can have an ick and still be in a relationship. Yeah, with that you person. shouldn't be. That's what I'm saying. I feel like no, the, you can't the, be. The, but I feel like the reason the work the what you're using to describe it is not really an ick. But you know, like I feel like. Ick. You you think like, that ew, ick, yeah, but yeah, but people, but like people, I think the word ick has now been like, yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not like it. ill ick. It's like, oh, he's giving me the ick. Like, yeah, you I know, you. you know, when someone is, oh, he's starting to give me the ick. Like, yeah. you still someone like me, them. Someone can give me the ick, and I can be, I can be in a relationship with them. You think? Yeah, hundred percent. Not like you. it's mad, but like, yeah, someone, like he could something do something that could make me, me like, feel like, yeah, like, what you did. Yeah, I could do something. I start. Moving like you know when you're out and you start jumping a bit too much because one is onto his own comes on and he might be like what's going on you're giving me the I'm, ick. Get, I, I'm gonna still enjoy myself like let me let me enjoy my life like that's what I like to do I like to go and party but cool. like yeah you know I mean you can have moments like that and it's, as long as it's not constant but anyway yeah what do you think Sharon uh, about the dilemma yeah um I think I still even in light of what you guys have said I still think ick is probably too strong I mm. don't I think it depends on the type of Relationship you want Like what I would want Is probably what you currently have In terms of somebody who Values my opinion And yeah. wants my Wants to get like My point of view on things How long mm. did you say They've been together Two and a half Two years Two and a half years Like yeah Like I feel like He obviously trusts that You have uh, An opinion that Holds weight And I mm-hmm. think If you're trying to build With someone as well Like The questions Sorry, that he Sorry he has an opinion An opinion because he said can I? What happens if I move in with you? Um, well, how would you feel if I joined the government? Opinion on what? I don't know. Just like when, the- I, when I when I read the dilemma, I was in two minds. I was like, does she mean that he's he's giving her the ick, as in the question that he's asking are giving the ick? Like, oh, how would you feel if I moved in with you? I think it's just the fact that he even asks, which is why yeah. she said that she just wants someone like her dad yeah. who doesn't ask. He just does, and then he'll tell you about it later what he's yeah. done. But and I'm saying, sorry, I was saying I was just gonna. I don't, know, I don't want to play devil's advocate, but I just wanted to ask a question. Yeah. Like, obviously we've spoken about it before. Like, when when we want to get married and stuff like that, we want a man to be able to lead. And that's yeah, how... Yeah, that is what she's saying. That's I think that's what she's saying. I 100%. think she's saying that she's having um, a problem submitting to someone who is just asking all the time for, for a reassurance. Second, for a second opinion. When but some then of why the time, is he... But then something like, oh, how would you feel if maybe she like move in with you? Do you not think that he needs to ask that question? Like, no, I'm I moving think... into your space. No, you know, I why think, is he moving? I think in? I feel that's even an issue that she's even having. No, I don't think it's issue. That's the issue. The issue is the, the issue is that he's always asking. He's not. It's like he. You know when you know when your parents be like, use your initiative. Like he's always asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For for an opinion, which is but which is good. The examples I think. that she gave, maybe they're bad examples. Yeah, I think they're just bad examples. Okay, yeah, but hold on. When you say someone, examples. when you say someone's moving in with you, because before she was saying about the fact that he's talking about he wants to um have a place together and all that thing. Yeah, but clearly then somebody, they're not there yet. They're not there yet. I think he's just saying, oh, and they live, the guy to, they live three you, hours oh, I can't apart. wait to move in. I can't wait to marry you. I can't wait to. I think he's just like is the word talking lamenting. About, no, not lamenting, but like he's just not fantasizing, but he's like he's just. But that, would, about that, but that would give me an ick though if, if if you're the type of man before that's claiming that oh we're gonna get our place together we're gonna own and then you're, now you're now you're doing the flip and saying how would you feel if it ended up being a situation that's where not I end this up moving dilemma, in with you? No, I, I think I think this I think I think both of you are right. I yeah. think you could look at it like he's saying oh I can't wait to do this this and that. But then when it's now time for you to do this this and that, you're not asking me. Oh, how wanna, would you feel if I how would you feel if I moved, moved in, in with, with you? you? After saying before that we're gonna go and get our own place, we're gonna go and do this. But and I then don't they're think asking that's what for the she's... government. Government. The, no, that doesn't. That's why that's like one of the, not in a rude way, but I think in America they they view that as a, not. Guys, don't correct me if I'm wrong, but that's not. They should correct paying, you if you're wrong. Uh, no, they should correct me if I'm wrong. Sorry, <laughs> that's like not a, a very high paying field unless I'm wrong. No, I think I, it's, I think it's not, it's not viewed. Not the it's not actual. Viewed nice. Not the actual job. I think it's more it's of just the question. That, it's the question of like. Why are you asking me what you want to do in your career? Why can't you just stand in it and be like, I'm going to work for the government? 
Why are you asking me? I don't know, me? man. I don't. I don't maybe, know. I think, maybe I think, it's because of like the way I am. But I, I don't really see it. I, th- I wish she had given a few more examples because I don't really see those two questions as bad. In the first one, right? It, it was bad. If, it would be bad if she was <laughs> saying, if she was saying like, oh, he's asking me to move in with me, but yet he's telling me that he wants to build. I think what she has just described is, I'm really happy because he has all these future plans for us and I love him. Mm-hmm. Um, but I just don't like the fact that he's asking me my permission to move in with me. Mm. And I get that why, like, maybe they're not there yet at a point where they could buy together. Mm-hmm. But he's trying to close the gap because they're long distance. So, Sorry, Tammy, I'm going to be annoying. Read that sentence again when she said I got the ick. What does she say in particular? Because she said something. Okay, he is my first true love and I want to marry him. He just gives me the ick when he asks my opinion. In my heart, I know he's asking for permission. He asks, how do you feel if I moved in with you How would you feel if I got a job with the government? It's giving that he's not sure of himself. He has, in fact, confessed that I am too good for him. Yeah, so that's not about, oh, I don't want him to live with me. That's just the fact that he's even asking in the first place. Yeah, I know, because he's doing the opposite of before when he's... Well, in my opinion, I'm thinking, if you're saying before, oh, yeah, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. That's what, that's a, for me, that's a man that's like setting the tone. He's setting the Mm. direction. Now you're doing the flip about asking, one, if you want to move in with me, asking me for my your, my opinion on your your career in terms of this mm-hmm. government stuff. I think it's it, it seemed like maybe to her, it's a bit of a contradiction to the things he was saying before where yeah. he's saying, I want to... I can I actually relate this to this dilemma. Oh, like, ugh, yeah. In the sense where someone doesn't know like what they want to do. Yeah, that's unattractive. Like, they're Oh, all... I don't mind that though. No, as in... Not that they don't... Because there's a difference between, oh, like, you don't know what you want to do and you're just looking for different stuff. But but there's the one where it's like, every single week, you're changing what you want to do. Yeah. One minute, you want to be a mathematician. Next minute, you want to be a basketball... Basketballer. Which just one is basketball. it? Huh? <laughs> you just want to be a basketball. Yeah, you want to be a basketball. Then you want to be a cow. Then a cat. <laughs> Which one is it? And then it's one of those ones where you're not sure of yourself. Like the fact that he's like, oh, I know that you're too good for me. I don't want to hear that. I hate that sentence. Oh, I don't, don't want to hear that. Say that. I don't want to hear that. That's say what that. she's saying. He's giving me the ick. That like, would give you're, me the you're ick asking, as well. It's like she's saying that everything, like you're asking for permission. Like, yeah, oh, no. should I do this? Oh, should I do mm. that? No, yeah, that would get Think on my nerves. Think for yourself, man. That mm. would get on my nerves. Mm. I don't mind somebody asking my opinion on something. Like, I don't know. Say he's like, ah, oh, um, I don't really know. I can't really like think just of, like, surface level things. Like just asking me, like there are stuff that I would want someone's opinion. Like if I'm making like a really big decision and I'm like, mm. oh, like I just want your advice or like your opinion on this. But ultimately, ultimately, it's my decision. I'm just asking but for I'm, your I'm opinion. Do I want? Do I want people to ask me? Do I want a guy to ask me his opinion for my opinion? I'm trying to even think because I, I, I would I like, if it's if it's something that is going to affect. Both of us Of course, yeah Then I would want to be Asked my opinion on it Yeah If it's something where it's like What's the question Maybe what she would have But those questions are big Those questions involve Would involve her, no? That's what I said in the beginning Yeah, I know But I'm saying that I don't think that that's, I don't know um, I think I think some of the questions That she's given are not we need What more. she means We need more of the questions mm, that, We need but more like, context him just, him just being like He's given that He's not sure of himself He's confessed that I'm too good for him mm, I don't know mm. That, that's I can understand process. why she started to get the ick. Yeah, that one in particular, yeah. like, uh, you're too good for me, that one would mm. definitely give me some sort of feeling. Yeah. So what would your advice be to, to this lady? I think you to Raven. Commun- that's a Raven. Uh, you should communicate the way you feel about the situation. Like, I feel like maybe the next time he asks you for your opinion, just be like, what do you think? And then he can tell you what he thinks and be like, yeah, like, I agree with that. Like, I don't feel like you need to ask. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but like, I genuinely feel like you could probably just be a bit like, you don't have to ask me everything. Like, I agree with what mm. you're about to do. Like, that's mm. fine. Like, like be like, be like confident in your decisions. Because mm. mm. yeah. if you say that you love him, you've been together for two and a half years. Like we keep saying, the streets are cold. Mm. Better mm. do all that you can first. Mm. Yeah. What, what about you? I um I value um transparency and if you're having any doubts about anything, obviously it's not the nicest thing to hear. Oh, I think you're better than me, or whatever. But if you are feeling a little bit low, like if you're feeling some type of way, 
I'm the type of person where I'd actually rather know that's what you're feeling rather than you dealing with it internally and then it turning into something else. Because now she's aware that this is something that he's like maybe struggling with. Mm -hmm. You know, some guys are just very secretive about the things they struggle with. And Mm -hmm. I'm like, I would rather you tell me than you just fight to yourself. Obviously, ideally, you just don't want it to be there in the first place. Yeah. But if it's going to be there, I would be the person that I would want to, I'd want to know that. So I think you sometimes have to think a step back and realize that if this is his nature where he just generally like involves you and stuff, clearly it means that he does value you. And I feel like Mm -hmm. for us as women, it's sometimes hard to, you can't just, it's not as easy to like pick and choose what you want someone to be transparent with you about. It's either they tell you everything or they're not going to tell you anything at all. Mm -hmm. So you might be here picking your battles thinking, I don't want to hear this. But then when he starts now Mm -hmm. hiding all the other things Mm -hmm. and not coming Mm -hmm. to tell you stuff because Mm -hmm. he's thinking, well, this babe doesn't want to know anything. Mm -hmm. You're not going to start getting annoyed. So I feel Mm -hmm. like you have to sometimes pick your battles. Like personally for me, I don't think this is a battle that is um, going to result negatively in terms of like his, it doesn't make him his character bad. It's not. It's not bad on. Do you know what I mean like it's yeah. not even your the relationship? Maybe yeah. Huh? yeah. Even the opposite maybe. That's what I'm trying to say. So yeah. in my opinion, I just feel like nowadays you've just got to pick your battles, and I just don't feel that this is worth worth um you considering whether you want to continue the relationship or not. But have a conversation with him anyway. And just let him know that by the way, this is how I feel. However, still, if you still feel a certain type of way, and you still feel after like you're not still confident after having a you know. A second thought about it Then obviously come and tell me And I'd want to support you But mm. Yeah mm. I think. And I was going to say as well Like maybe the reason that You want him to be like your dad Is because You maybe only know All the good decisions That your dad has made Because yeah. You could say now That like no You don't want him to come to you With anything You want him to just be Like self-assured And just go ahead but then what happens if he makes a decision on behalf of the two of you and it's the wrong one and he's not consulted you? Or to him, it's the right one. But to you, mm. like it's affected you in a way that he maybe didn't know because he wasn't privy to like that aspect of your life or something. Mm. So I think like Beatrice said, you have to pick your battles. I I don't think this is one that is that deep, no. like in terms of <clears throat> like, should you stay or should you go? Like, I don't think it's that sort of question. Like, I think you just need to communicate. Yeah, man. Mm. Yeah, what yeah. about you? <clears throat> Um, I agree with everything that you guys have said, but at the same time, you know how it is when you get the ick. Like mm. everything will now start to annoy you. The stuff that were annoying you first, yeah, that'll still annoy you. But then he'll now start doing other things that you now find that is annoying. I'm not saying that you should go and break up with him now and um mm. say that because obviously he does have really good attributes, but honestly, if you feel like there's some things that you can't shake. Mm. I don't know what to tell you Like Oh yeah for sure Like if you feel If you're not happy And and these These things keep on Irritating you You don't want to keep Being in a relationship Where everything he does You find irritating You yourself You Like he will even Start to feel a type of way And it might just turn Your relationship upside down But like the girls have said I think you need to Probably voice How you feel Mm. And um, Kind of explain to him The kind of man that you want and if he doesn't change or if he doesn't step up the way that you want him to then then you can maybe think of your exit plan i don't mm. know but um i think definitely voicing it and uh communicating with him your concerns and things like that because it seems like from what you said he knows your heart your ambition your entire family so clearly he's a good guy. It's just... Ah, please don't. That doesn't just qualify. Know, that, just that, that, that doesn't qualify him to be a good guy. Or, but continue. No, I'm just saying to her, clearly, like, she he yeah, knows she her spent a long time it's not like, his good attributes. The thing is, mm. it's not like he's doing something so wrong. Like, he's cheating, he's lying. Like, I don't know from what she said. Mm. These things to someone else might seem like, oh, you should be grateful for the type of guy that you've got. Like, why mm. are you complaining? Mm. But I don't know. We can't all have it all. We can't have it all. I was going to say, like, a good way, if you're thinking about, like, how to bring the conversation up, I think a good way maybe to do it would be just have an honest conversation about, like, maybe, like, a stopgap, like, in your relationship. And you can just ask him, like, how he feels about you and, like, the relationship. Like a and review. How, mm. Not a review, but, like, you know, you just how have... the last six months been? No, not, yeah. not as formal as that, but just kind of, like, I guess, you know, when you guys no, are just you having to. your pillow talk, just be like, oh, is there anything else that I can be doing for you? Like, mm-hmm. I just want to make sure that I'm the best, like, version of myself for you. Like, I want to be... Mm-hmm. The... Do you know what I mean? And then let him, like, not assess, but let him, like, talk a little bit first yeah. about the things that he would, prefer, like, like for you to do better. And then that will give you a natural way... To, to be like, oh, yeah. this is one area that I think you could improve on. Like, I appreciate the fact that you're coming to me and you ask for my opinion, but 
nine times out of ten, I agree with your opinion anyway. So it's good for you to just like feel mm. confident that you can do that. Yeah. Like I trust you. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. I think the way that you approach men on these topics, you have to be very kind of delicate because we know like mm. men and their egos and stuff. Yeah, you don't want anything to damage his ego. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But um, that was an interesting dilemma. Yeah, mm. thought so as well. Okay, so this is the part of the podcast where we do hot gist slash Twitter thread. Mm. Oh, oh, sorry, X threads. Mm. <laughs> um, and I saw this one on Twitter, yeah, and it just made me laugh a little bit. So the original tweet says, do you ever get offended by the type of men that hit on you? <laughs> Somebody quoted the tweet and said, yes, how dare you? No, facts. <laughs> No facts. Oh Guys, my- let me just <laughs> Yeah, take hey, it away, hey. yeah. Take it away, yeah. <clears throat> For those of you that don't know, you can probably tell if you follow me on my socials, that's Beatrice A K N on Instagram. Hmm. I'm a tall babe. <laughs> like Tell them your height, yeah. I'm five foot nine. Okay, on a good day. <laughs> on a good day, okay. And without yeah, heels, without heels. So when I wear heels, I'm like six foot two, six no, six foot, no. six foot, six foot, six, six, six foot six foot one, yeah. right? I promise you, for the love of God, ah, God sees my heart. <laughs> the men that step to me with full confidence are guys that are short. And when I say short, I'm not talking ah, oh, my same height or that one is even we're looking eye to eye. I'm talking about. Five foot seven and below. Ah, below. They're looking at your belly button. Damn. <laughs> it's peak. Damn. It's hey, peak. Hey, you know, I'm, I'm trying not, to grab the I'm hem even, of your I'm, garment. No, but the thing is, I'm not even height shaming, but I'm just like, I just feel like men that are short, they have some sort of... Do you know why, though? Because we live in the UK. Like, genuinely, there what aren't very many tall men here. No, but it's not even just that, though. It's the fact that they have the confidence to come to chat to me. Because it's a, they've got to chat to somebody. That's what I'm trying yeah, to say. Yeah, but they can chat. Do you know how many... Do you know... Imagine you're in a setting where, Sharon, me and you were together in the yeah, same setting. Yeah, but you're setting. finer, so they've come to you. You're sick. <laughs> I don't know what you're looking no, for No, you. no, no, <laughs> But no, do you, do you know what it reminds me of? Oh, yeah. What? Oh my God. There was one time we went to DLT, yeah? Well, like and, a DLT in the UK. Yeah, we went to DLT in the UK. I don't know if okay. you remember. And we were all there. It was when you were there as well. We were all there in the oh, Canary Wharf. Is that when we had gone We had gone out before? We had gone out we, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we oh, went to the Canary okay, Wharf. Yeah, 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 I, remember, I can't I remember. remember where it was, but there was just, there was one guy that just came lurking out of nowhere. Yeah. And I came to Sharon and was basically like, oh, like, are you Ghanaian or something? Oh, <laughs> my God. And, do you know what I mean? And, it, yeah. and it's just like, the only reason why he went to you is because you were dark skin. I, I personally yeah, think so. The way he was sure. ang- yeah, yeah, and the way he was angling, it was just like, are you are you actually being for real? Like, I'm telling you, the confidence some guys have, you're thinking, just because I might look friendly, Ooh, you've yeah. now taken that as <laughs> a co-sign that it's okay to step to me. And I don't know why, but like I said, I still genuinely believe though that shorter guys have some sort of um I don't know, some sort of bravado, some sort of they base. Have they have to. some sort of confidence because... They have to because yeah, they have otherwise to they'll never that. get any women. Yeah they, yeah, they have to lean on that. But the thing is, like I said, there's so many women that are their height that they can, that they can chat to, but there's something about them that tells them Not really, I can you know, get her. Because if you think about our group, right? So our group, there's eight girls. I'm mm-hmm. the shortest. Yeah, but, but that's, like, like, that's not common in a lot of places. I feel like I... I feel like oh, I was you're just, saying no. I feel like our group is like an anomaly where we have quite a lot of tall women. And most groups. <laughs> no, are I, I don't. Boom. I genuinely don't think so. I, from down here, at five foot three, genuinely, I feel like are most. You that are you not that short? I'm five three. No, you're not. Oh, you're I'm not. five three point five. Genuinely, I'm 160 centimeters. I'm one <laughs> seven five. That's a whole. Fi- that's half one seven six or something. something. I don't know my height, but I'm around bitches' height. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I'm the shortest in my group. Do you think I feel by like far though? That's what I'm trying to say. Like, a I feel lot like of, a lot of women are short. Mm, that's what I feel like as a tall like, girl. Like, You're as, thinking a tall that girl, as a tall girl, short girl. I'm thinking that as a, as tall, a tall girl, girl I yeah. feel sh- or tall like, all the time. A lot of girls are average height. Yeah, so like a five five or a five, five six. six. Yeah. yeah, a lot of girls are 5'5". Five, five. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the saying. type of guys that's I'm saying. talking about that are stepping to me. And oh, 5'5". 5'5". Five, five. Five, five. No, but I've I feel had like 5'6", 5'7". 5'6", 5'7". This is what I'm trying to say. What How's did, a what guy that's shorter than Sharon stepping to Sharon? Yeah, yeah, I've had that. I've this had is that. peak, man. Listen, I'm not trying to hide. 
Damn. I'm not trying to hide, sh- hide shame, but it's just the fact that like I've noticed the confidence, and I feel like out of the majority of guys, like no, to be fair, as of late. I feel like the guys that have been approaching me have been like yeah, taller guys, yeah. which has actually been very, very nice, by the way. It's Refreshing. Felt, yeah, it's felt very, very good. But like majority of my history has been based with guys. That I are, can't like, even my remember height. the last time someone stepped to you and they were short. Yeah, no, it's been a while now. No, it's been yeah, a while. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's interesting. My, my thing is not even height. Mm. My thing is even like, oh dear, how you are. Because, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I don't know if see you saw. Me, I don't know if you saw my Instagram story the other day of like when an uncle from Woolwich is trying to move to yeah. you. Like majority of the time when I'm out, I'm not looking shabby. Oh, that's my like, pet Like I'm looking well put together. Yep. You with your ragga ragga trouser. Oh, yeah. dear. It's not hello bit. Sorry? Yeah. <laughs> Who are you talking to? You know, you, know what? you look around like, like it can't, it can't be, me. be me. Sharon. It can't be You know, be I me. don't even like I've I, I programmed never my I've, never I've, I've programmed myself, yeah. Any any guy that is on I I don't even see them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hello, baby, miss. Hey, hi, sister. I'm no. sorry. <laughs> I like if you see the way I walk, like with purpose, yeah, they yeah. probably think I'm deaf. Like, like yeah, honestly facts. to God, because facts. I don't even like, you know, yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah. you like react. Back. No, 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 no. I don't even no, react. No, like, no, I don't even That's a waste like, of energy. Yeah, like, a waste of colour jewels. Because first of all, Majority of the time, if you're talking to me on the road, I'm sorry. It's just, it's, it's a mm, no. So you don't like it if you're out and a guy like uh, steps to you. Beatrice has had, why do I know your whole, what do you, what your whole no, day like and if I'm, everything? Like, like, but, if I'm go, like, I, I, I don't know. It's just, it, when, when you do, give, when you do, for my um history, mm. when you do give, it just never, it just never amounts I never, to anything. I never look good when I'm out. Like, if I Wait, look hold on. Good, what kind of statement is that? No, but what I'm trying to say is... if you're going from point A to point B. Yes, because if I'm going to point B, I'm in my car. So, like... That's what I'm saying. So, if, so, I'm never on the road looking good. That's what I'm trying to say. No, I'm confused. Why would you never be on the road? Okay, so imagine you've arrived at a party and you're going to the destination. Yeah, but how long is that? Like a two-minute walk from my car? <sighs> no, I don't mind meeting people at places. Mm. Yeah, that's I'm my preference. Saying, if I'm just saying, if I'm on hair. my way from A to B, yeah. please, just... I, just... Although... There was, one there was one guy when? on the train. train. Ah! This time I was wearing a wig. Patreon people will know. Mm. But um, yeah, he was. I think I texted you. I texted you. Oh I yeah, yeah. Just, there my, is one. My I wanted stick. to, but I, there's nothing I can do. All I can mm. do is flutter my eyelash. Mm. But he didn't. He didn't mm. say anything. Mm. What was I gonna say? Beatrice has had someone move to her while she's in her car driving. Oh and no, he's that's in happened her car to driving. That's happened to me. I was on my way to. <laughs> I was on my way to meet you guys mm. in somewhere in Shoreditch. Mm. And one guy like wound down his window, like mm. we were um parallel together. Mm. And he wound up, he's like, What's your number? Nah, bye. bye, bye, bye. I gave it though, but you know, never amounted to anything. <laughs> I was going to say, I met, I, met, I, met, I, met, I met with a guy as well that stopped me. But you pulled the... over? Yeah, we pulled over. I met with <laughs> <laughs> Let me just read one more. Okay. <clears throat> so. The girl said, I'll read the tweet again. Do you ever get offended by the type of men that hit on you? One girl said, no, I get more offended when I see the type of other women they're ah! hitting on because we ain't in the same bracket. Then she goes, that too, when you see their exes, she was like, not going to lie, I get turned off. Do you know what? I hear, I hear it. it. I can never, do, you know, do, you know, do you know what it is? It's like, that one is even gone as far as, oh, when I see his exes. Is when you're out and then someone oh! moves to you. Oh! And then you now see them moving to Oh, some... <laughs> no! So I'm, I'm part of that I'm part, part of that, that group. No! Eh? That the kind of way. Where's my exit? <laughs> Where's <laughs> my exit? Nah, nah, nah. nah. Sometimes nah. I even have to go back at home and look at something. I'm thinking, it's because I was... Fine. You know what it was? Maybe, like, maybe, maybe my week was... Maybe my week was off. You know what I mean? my nose. What's Maybe it was the end of the night. What the heck? Nah. Nah. That is so, no, so no, funny. No, no, no. A violation. We yeah. cannot be in the same league. Nah, at all. Nah. And why are you moving to someone else? No, but you know guys do that. That's what I'm saying. Like, they just do that. It's just, oh, oh, you my take her to God. the corner. Yeah, yeah, like, like, why are you in front of me? Fun? Like, no. Like, oh. like, no, no decorum. Nah, man. It reminds me of that dilemma where we got where, where we were discussing. I showed you guys about the TikTok where the guy did the same date. Yeah. And oh, yeah, yeah, You know yeah. when you were like, oh, remember we know that person that got his... Uh, <laughs> oh. Sure. Um, 
Hmm. Guys just be reusing and reusing. reusing. You're not even original. Just, no, no originality, nothing. You didn't even try. You know when you're in school and someone is copying the same homework, you didn't even try to remix. Remix it. Boy, turn it in would have said 100% the course plagiarism. Work. Do you understand? You know how you said, sorry, sidetrack, but you know how you said on that episode that you don't think it's bad like if a guy like does the same day because obviously it works. Yeah. So. But what if you, what if you heard him say on a podcast or something like, oh yeah, this is where I take the girls da, 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 and then he's taking you there as well. Would you feel away? I ain't there no podcast guy. Anyway. Yeah, I ain't there so. no podcast. No, I know. I'm just... Actually, let me not say that. I don't know who's, who's now creating <laughs> a podcast in the background. Ah, ah, there are some ah, podcast ah, men that I would definitely do. Hey. hey! Oh, really? Yeah. Hey. They're not here, though. Oh, the, oh yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Um, they are broad. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I know, I know who she's talking about. That's the name. They're broad. Abroad. <laughs> They're broad. Boy, I'm a child. <laughs> but, um, yeah. No, the, I'm surprised you guys don't know what I'm talking about when I just said that, though. What? With the whole, like, he's on a podcast and he's saying, like, oh, yeah, I've taken bare people to this place where I take the lady. What would I think about it? Or, yeah. or oh. are you saying that someone someone we know has done that? I'll just tell you off camera. Ah! <laughs> Patreon only! <laughs> Patreon only! <laughs> no, that but I was funny. just asking if you cared, but I guess not. It doesn't matter. No, what do you mean? No, no, you can't be on a podcast saying that and then be taking me there. Okay, no. okay. So then no, you're no, that's, that's a bit mad. That's a bit mad. Yeah, yeah. 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 And you don't mind not. if he does it just as long as it's not like yeah, a publicized, like, yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're saying that, oh, yeah, I've taken five yeah, girls here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't be adding that. You can't be adding that. Yeah, yeah. Nah, man. One thing about hate, I hate being added to a list. Oh, Ooh. not a list, chat. I hate being added to a list. Bro. Ooh. Like, you know them discussions where, oh, where guys will be having, oh, what about that girl that you... Aye. Don't mention my Aye. name. Don't mention me. Don't add me to that list. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was even going to say something, but again, let me hold my tongue. God damn, get myself in trouble, child. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying. Cool. Let's go into song Let's of the week. Let's go to song of the week, guys. <laughs> As you guys know, don't worry. Someone in the comments had the audacity to say, switch out song of the week for another dilemma. You Excuse must be me. crazy. You don't know that this is my favorite segment. You must Please, be crazy. I replied I that saw person. That. Yeah. I said, absolutely not. And then I said, it, oh, it this must, must be Beatrice. Beatrice. I said, it is Tammy. Have a good Monday. No, literally. <laughs> everyone always thinks that it's me. Yeah. When, when you guys come in on a bit of a bravado in the comments, people think, ah, oh, no, it's Beatrice. Uh, 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 then bravado. Bravado, today. <laughs> bravado. bravado. <laughs> Someone, someone messaged. I don't know if they messaged the pod account or my account, or I can't remember. Yeah. Like, we say things all the time, like taking shots for how many times you do. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we be for this. I say that a lot. It's not, see, for me, I, when I engage in a conversation, like, I have to show. You have to I show, hate silence. yeah. Like, not hate silence, but I'm just like, I want you to know I'm listening. Yeah, yeah it's my yeah, way of being yeah, like, it's okay. Like, mm, yeah, 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 I'm here, I'm listening. Please, man, I know you people telling me to shut up. I and the thing is, I just don't even know that I'm doing it. It's yes, only now yeah, that people yeah, yeah, like, tell us. People yeah. be like, oh, can you guys stop not with do the hums? Mm. I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't know how to stop. Do you even like, do you even do have normal conversations? Do you have with your normal conversations? Do you have friends? Yeah. Or do you just sit on your home and be watching BTS? No. Not even BTS. Hey. Uncut. Watch it uncut. Sorry, guys. Yeah, no, it's gonna take a little while. Take a while. Yeah, legit. Watching a uncut podcast. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, huh? yeah, 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 it's crazy, sure. man. Well, you were watching BTS anyway, so yeah, literally, you were. There's that. <laughs> I'm quite cool. Anyway, song yeah, of the week. So, song of the week. So, as you guys know, we have a playlist. The playlist is available on Spotify and it's available on Apple Music. And every single month, and we... it's available on YouTube. Sorry, and it's available on YouTube. Ah! Yes, 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 YouTube as well. I hope you people don't want to. You don't want to pay for stuff like that. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> so basically what we're doing is we change up the theme every month. Now, the month of April is dedicated to hip hop slash rap. Yeah, Woo! yeah, yeah. That from is going to be, globe. yeah, from across the globe. We ain't, we ain't specifying where it's got to be based from or whatever. But yeah. yeah, so that is the genre for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed the last one. I hope you guys enjoyed UK Afro Swing. I've been seeing oh, people tag us. A lot us. of yes, people did, say, yeah. especially a lot of the US people. Yeah, yes. man, yeah, yeah. Thank you. It's good to know that you guys are listening and enjoying the yeah. thing. Facts. Patreon people, uh, you guys can suggest the next the next um, um, theme, theme genre. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay. So, who wants to kickstart with a few songs that we can add to this playlist? Let's give it to Sharon. This is her favorite. Okay. Her favorite, favorite part of the pod. Yeah, I already know which artist you're going to add. song. Huh? Continue. You know what I'm going to add? What artist you're going to add? Go on. Go ahead. Oh, okay. That's coming. That's coming. 
first song I'm gonna add is Pop It by Frenna. Oh, okay. okay. Um, that has a bit of rap. It's like it's definitely hip hop. Have you used that in a reel? Yeah. Um, um, no, but I like I have, we've used I've, it a lot. I've played it a lot. We've used it a lot. I've, I've played, ah, it, a lot. I've played okay. it a lot. Yeah. I never forget the first time I played it for sure. Oh. Yeah. Do you know where we were? Yeah, my car wash. Yes. <laughs> I made her rewind it like three times. I was like, eh, what is this? You know, Shazam lives rent free on my phone. Like, it's on my oh, really? drop down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, next part of the, to my, yeah, 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 next yeah. to my torch, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got it as well, actually. I use that all the time. Anyway, yeah. Pop It by Friend is my first one. Then Baby by Me, 50 Cent. Oh. Um, and then the artist that Beatrice knows that I'm going to add. Um, Chris Brown featuring Blast. Um, ah, what's it called again? Show it. Oh, I didn't think that was artist. Oh, I thought you were going to Oh, big, big, oh I you, I Dave. Was, yeah, literally. Oh, snap. You know, I've just been thinking. Of, I hadn't even thought about UK. Mm. Okay, we'll come uh, back to that later. Don't worry. Next, um, next, next week, man. And then lastly, I just want to make sure that it's Show It. Yeah, Show It by Chris Brown, featuring Blast. And then the last one I'm going to add is Bedrock. Um, Young Money. Young Money. Ah, yeah. I can make your bed rock, girl. Cool. Okay, shall I go next? Yeah, go on. Guys, I'm going to send £10 to either one of you. If you know, I'm going to give a the- I'm going to give a, uh, hey. I'm going to give a clue as to the song. And I know Tammy already knows the song. This song makes me cry. I shed tears when I hear this song because of the outro. Guys, think. Ah, rap. That's what I'm gonna say. You know me when I hear that outro. Do you know what it is? I'm Tammy. I'm. I ain't got a clue. Can I guess the artist first? Yes. Is it Rick Ross? No. I'm gonna give you one more guess. Give me, give me a clue because uh, the clue is the outro is long and it gets me emotional. And I, think, I and sing I think it. I know. And I, know. I sing it and I and I and I'll be. Huh, uh, uh. Ah. I don't know. Shall I do, do that? Shall I do, to... do one, 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 one small chill? Yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 uh. I ain't got it. <laughs> hey! Yeah, come on. Tell me. I am. Be- okay. I'm... Okay. Drake. Yes. Future. <laughs> um, uh, what's the song called? Come on. You're doing me dirty. <laughs> Um, was tweeted about Drake and I was like, mm. I haven't actually listened to a a Drake album properly since if you're reading this is too late and what what a time to be alive. Yeah. Mm. After no, that, well, I'm lost. Yeah, I hear you. You do him dirty. But that song, guys. Whoa, for damn me, dancing. Feck. For me, that song gets me so emotional. Like that outro, I haven't even heard from you. Not, Not a single, single word <laughs> from you. Ungrateful. Huh? That whole mixtape is nah, just crazy to me. Absolutely brazy. There was absolutely no way we're starting hip hop and rap, and I was not having nah, that. Nah, that's one of the first songs. Are you wow, crazy? How can I even, how how can you even forget? Even, how can you even forget? What? Don't do that again, man. Don't do, do you know that what again. It is? We've been too consumed with. Yeah, 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 yeah. We forgot <laughs> my about man, we, we, no, for, we forgot about our roots, man. We, we, forgot, about, we, we forgot, forgot. We forgot what we were riding with. Yeah, let's get okay. facts. Okay. okay, can you guess? Okay, now that I've guessed your Ooh. song, we'll come back to you, yeah. Ooh. But guess what song I'm gonna pick? We'll, we'll, we'll go back to you. Okay, hold on. And all I'm gonna say is, for your clue, yeah, wireless. One year, Snapchat. I want to say, is it the? Can I guess the artist? Gone. Young Thug. Mm-mm. No, hold on. Say it. Hold on. Hold on. M- main stage, wireless. <laughs> oh One God. year. It can't be true. What'd you say? It can't be true. No, it can't be. Mm-mm. Hi. We were me, you, Ruth. We were shouting. Eh? One artist. R.I.P. Rick Ross! Come on! <laughs> but, 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 Hold on. Um, okay. Oh, I don't know whether you're going to do... There's two songs I could do, but... Okay, I don't know if you're going to do... As- I don't know if... Uh-uh. No, okay, hold on. Then you okay, there's three songs as- I could do. <laughs> yeah, you're adding that. There's three songs I could do. Um, oh my God. Damn. Oh, um, stay... Scheming. Stay scheming. Come on. Come on, sorry. I should know that. Ah. I should know that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I should know yeah, that. yeah. We Don't worry, we, we came Don't from. worry, next week. Yeah, fine. But yeah, do so, your, do I your. also want to add another song. 
So that's what I'm gonna yeah, do go on. um, is one more chance. Stay with me, the notorious B.I.G. And Sona goes, baby, give me one more, more chance. chance. Hey, one more chance. <laughs> is that him? Yeah. Uh huh. Yes. Notorious B.I.G. Oh, sorry. Dang. God, <laughs> don't them. do that again. Choo, choo, choo. <laughs> I'm crying. You guys, I, tell me, I didn't even Yeah, know. yeah. So the first one was, like I said, Rick Ross, Stay Scheming. I should have known that. And the other song is Drake and Nicki Minaj, Make Me Proud. Oh! Wait, I like a future with a movie. I like a woman with a future in the past. Uh-huh. Okay, and I'm going to add one more song. Oh, man. Terror Squad, Lean Back. Wait, why don't I know that? Fat Joe. Hip-hop. Nah, man. Well, hip hop, you know. Yeah, a years man. Ago. It's gonna be. So, I don't know what it is now. It's gonna be a good month. It's gonna be a good month for yeah, music, man. Yeah. But all yeah, make songs. sure you guys. All the songs are gonna be added to the playlist. Like we yeah. said, the playlist on YouTube, the playlist on Spotify, and the playlist on Apple Music. God damn, we'll be giving you the <laughs> stuff, man. God make sure you guys follow um the playlist as well, so you guys are up to date when we drop stuff. And yeah, the links to the playlist will be in the description from wherever or um yeah, however you listen to the podcast. But yeah, check it out, man. This is the Uncut Podcast Song of the Week. <laughs> and guys, that brings this episode to an, to end. an end. Wow, Uncut Podcast. Damn, we have officially launched, man. Yeah, this don't is Don't call it. us by my old name, boy. Hmm. Girl, I don't see. know you. We won't answer you. We won't be answering you no but more. But yeah, before we even go, like, mm. do you want to tell them why we changed our name? Ah, oh, I didn't, I didn't, I thought maybe, yeah, I mean, guys, honestly, we just needed a fresh start. Like, obviously, you people already knew, the people that are down, riding for us were like, guys, you know, BTS, you've got to be careful with the name, mm-hmm. obviously, you know, it's attached to the large Korean pop band, etc. So, we already knew, once we, you know, started to, like, get the following and stuff, that it was possibly going to be a thing that we would have to explore. And I feel like we're just now at that stage where we're just ready to like really give you guys everything you guys deserve. Like you guys have really shown us a lot of love and we're now Mm -hmm. fully, really invested in Mm -hmm. this. So like I said, this isn't just your weekly episode. Like we're fully giving you guys like an insight into everything about us. Patreon, we're having exclusive conversations. We're having extra episode, extra content. And guys, honestly, we want this to be a community. Like we want to take our names out of it, make this an actual show, make this an actual production, make this like, you know what I mean? High tech yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, So honestly, from now on, like this is no joke to us. Like we love this. This is our baby. We worked really hard on this. Like I said, it's been a long time coming. And honestly, you're going to be so shocked with the amount of things that we're going to be dropping. Bang, 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 <laughs> bang. It's crazy, the things we've got coming up. But yeah, we need a new name to solidify and close out the chapter of BTS. That's how we started. That's how we grew up. And now we're grown. Our parents have said bye to us. We've left the house. And now it's time to be grown. <laughs> this is grown vibes. Do you know what I mean? So Thank yeah, you so appreciate much. it, guys. I love yeah. it. Yeah. And just to close off the episode, please make sure you are following us on all of our socials. Yeah, so that is Snapchat. Yeah. Guys, please, we're on Snapchat too. Yes. Yeah, so Get on it. Yeah, so man. Snapchat, Twitter, yep. Instagram, TikTok. Yep. All of those things will be linked below. And if you are listening on Spotify and Apple Podcasts, please leave us a five-star ratings. We That's do right. not like one. We do not like two, nope. three, or four. Nope. We like five stars. Damn right. And for our Spotify listeners, if you are listening on there, there is a question. What did you think about this episode? Please let us know what you think about it. This is a way that you can tell us what we can improve on, what you love about the episode, or you can even tell us like topics that you want us to talk about and things like that. Or the Patreon people will get first rights. Oh, sure. You heard it. You you heard it from her. Yeah, and also for our Spotify listeners, please answer the poll 
the poll numbers have been down a little bit. Mm. I know we can bring them back up. So, mm. and bullying works. So mm. please get on it and please answer the poll. And I think that's all we've got time for. Thank you guys so much. Like Beatrice said, this is the Uncut Podcast. Period. We are here every single Monday. We are here every single Wednesday, Wednesday on Patreon backstage. If you are not backstage with us, hmm. you know, you know, when you're at a concert, you always want to know what's happening what's backstage. backstage. My friend, can you just click that link and see what Quickly. is going on backstage? Fast. Four brand new episodes are live on Patreon. And you know what's even sweet about the episodes on Patreon? They even that they, so many dilemmas. You, people, you people be shouting, dilemma, dilemma. Hey. Oh yeah. Be going oh to the God, dilemma. There are so Straight, many. There's so many dilemmas yeah. on the first four episodes. Please go there. Please let us know how you feel about it. Yeah. And yeah, that is it from the Uncut Podcast. So yeah, we see you guys in our next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.